Good morning, friends, and I hope you're well. This is our daily devotional for February 14th, Valentine's Day. And I want to talk with you about forgiveness. In Luke chapter 3 and verse 3, it says that John the Baptist was teaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. What does that mean? Is forgiveness automatic? Well, you know, Jews would go through the Day of Atonement. And the Day of Atonement was a yearly day to ask God to cleanse them. They were to fast that day. Let me ask you this question. Does going through the Day of Atonement and fasting mean you're automatically forgiven? Or how about this? In Matthew 7, it says that there will be people who expect to get into God's kingdom who did miracles and who taught, but God will say to them, I never knew you. Did they assume they were forgiven? In Matthew 25, there are people who did not feed the hungry or visit the prisoners. They are surprised when they are sent away into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Were they not forgiven? Is it possible to assume you are forgiven? but not be. Maybe the key is in the term baptism of repentance. What does it mean to repent? Well, it's not just regretting the consequences of something, and it's not just regretting the outcome of something, but repentance is basically saying this, I never ever want to do that again. I'm going to take steps not to do that again. And if I were in the same situation I was when I did it, I would not do that. That was wrong. That was against God. That was a sin. And repentance involves being willing to be severe with yourself. Remember, Jesus said, using hyperbole, if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. He didn't mean to mutilate yourself. He meant to be willing to be severe with yourself. That's repentance. It's turning from the sins God reveals to us in our lives. But there's one more part to it. Romans chapter 8 teaches that the Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. There's a sense in which true forgiveness is confirmed to us by the Holy Spirit. Not a false assumption, but an inward confirmation I know by the Spirit's transforming power, my life has been transformed and my sins are forgiven. Dear friend, don't be casual assuming that forgiveness is like putting money in a vending machine. All you have to do is press the button and voila, you're forgiven. Don't even assume that just because you say read Psalm 51, you're automatically forgiven but look to your heart for true penitence. Remember, Jesus in Luke talk, chapter 18 would teach a parable about a man who praised himself before God and another who wept and pummeled himself and said, God, be merciful to me, the sinner. Look for true penitence in your life. That's what John the Baptist was looking for when he said that these stones, God could make them children of Abraham a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Make sure, by God's grace, your sins are forgiven. Hope you're doing well. Seek first the kingdom of God. Read the Bible. If you're nearby, I look forward to seeing you in church on Sunday. God bless you.